Okay, uh, I'm back. So, uh, I guess uh, the other day I got to this new town. Uh, I don't remember the name. Uh, I guess I should start off. Uh, I don't know, buying some stuff. Uh, see if I can uh, upgrade my weapons. Everybody's got weapons here. Uh, hmm. B tub ring. Uh, seems like I don't know if it'll be important or it's equipped on the next character I get. Uh, I guess that'll be Peach, maybe. I think you get peach in this, anyways. Uh, upgrade everyone's armor. Oh, I shouldn't have bought two. Uh, I'm not sure that's uh, worth equipping yet. Uh, it'll decreases it'll decrease his uh, attack more than it increases his defense. Oh, and that's just worse. Right, Bowser's weapon. Uh, it's worse. All right. Yeah, I don't know if uh, there there must be a limit for how many uh, weapons and you know, equipment you can have, but uh, I'm not there yet, so I'll uh, uh, I won't bother selling anything just yet. All right. So these two are gonna get new moves soon. Very more, okay. Right, uh, what's his face? Uh, stole uh, Peach and is gonna marry her. Okay. Uh, 
I thought I could fight them. I'm guessing a boss fight against him. I like how this guy's just, uh, I don't know, doesn't know anything at all. I need her uh, crown now, I guess. It was her crown, I thought.
Poor Mario. So I can damage the cake. But not the curls. Oh, let's see uh, how much HP the cake's got. Alright, not too much. Turn the cake should be down. Probably heal up now. I think probably something's gonna happen after I eat the cake, so. I think that should be it. alive. Good thing I healed Mario. Thank <laughs> you. 
don't know why Mario is taking so much damage from everything. And the other two are taking hardly any. I don't know if it's just the, like, the element or something. Like, Malo and Bowser are strong against, uh, ice attacks. soon, I think. I don't want to waste the turn uh, using a Psychopath on him, but... Uh... Is that it? Oh, that's good. Uh, the non-used party members still get experience. I was hoping Mario and Gina or Malo would uh, level up, though. So I bet there is there must be one more character. Uh, just uh, see what Peach's abilities are. Okay. Uh... Okay, I can't see her abilities unless she's in the party, I guess. Oh, that's... Oh, that's good. She's got a group heal. And she can heal status. Okay, so I'll probably just switch Jean, uh, Malo out for her. 
Uh, she doesn't have the attack everybody, but, uh... Oh well. Uh, being able to heal everybody, I think, is uh, better. That's, is that supposed to be like bathtub ring? Okay, anyways, the uh, group's all together. We just leave and I don't know, head to the next town. Maybe we all take Peach to the hotel. Oh, right, Mario's got to go back to. Uh, Mushroom Kingdom, or uh, whatever this is, uh, at Peach's Castle Town, whatever.
Okay. Um, Cutscenes are a bit long, I think. But, uh, I don't know, not too bad, I guess. Uh, guessing I should go up and talk to Peach. And maybe she rejoins. Okay. I'm assuming she does rejoin sometime soon, probably. Uh, I don't know when I go to leave town. Or right now. Good. I thought I was gonna have to go through the sewers again. Uh, all right, I think he uh, lives here. Right, there's the store for the frog coins. Like, check again. Uh, yeah, not really. I don't know. So those are frog coins, uh, these are regular coins, although the whole party recovering HP is, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, Be nice if it was possible to get more inventory space. Wait, I was supposed to ask him, wasn't I? write that down. I think that's for the uh, uh, mini game in the next room. I guess I should do this. Okay. Uh, second, between second and third lines. Uh, 
go. Okay. Uh... Okay. Uh, okay, uh, I think I need to play that song from earlier. Uh, uh, okay, the on the lines is a uh, uh, note as well. Uh, Five lines, uh, between, between the second and third line was, uh, Do. Uh, then down there's T, La, So, Fa. messed up, I think. But I'll see what that does. Uh... Okay. I need a uh, uh, so, which is the la on the last or the second last line. Uh, then next uh, law, which is the gap in between. Ah, uh, screwed up again. Okay. Uh, Okay, as soon as you... I was trying to, like, time the jump or something, but, uh... Looks like as soon as you hit the button... He, uh, freezes, so, uh, you can just hit it once he's on the note. Highest there. Uh, Ray, uh, just below me. Uh, Do, below there. Uh, Ray again. Uh, Ray, Do, Ray. Go again. And then Ray again. Oh, I think... Oh, I screwed that up at the very end. Okay, so he gives you the... It gives you hints anyways that it's working. That's good.
All right, now it's just back and forth for the, uh, the rest of it. Okay, uh, is that a special item? Yes. I guess I should go and try that. Okay, um, I don't know if that's improving it or something. Okay, that's the end of that. be good to uh, keep in mind, but it uh, doesn't help with this. thought I was supposed to come talk to this guy. Okay, and I can't, uh, maybe I need to have Mallow in the party. song I played. Uh, let's say beetle or a snack. Maybe it's the beetle from uh, there was that one cutscene in the one town with the beetle somewhere. Uh, 
Was that Rose Town? I don't know, I, I honestly can't keep the towns uh, straight. Uh, okay, nothing's happening there. Uh, uh, maybe it was Bullville. Yeah, they were like chasing around a beetle or something. Maybe that's what he wants to eat. Check Mario's place. There was no Luigi at all yet, was there? I don't think there was one, like any Luigi at the beginning or anything. Try this again. Uh, left and right. B is up. Okay. Okay, that was a hole or something. Yeah, I thought that was a rock that I would just bounce off of. I'm guessing I'm further down now. I'm trying to go a different way anyway, so I can uh, maybe get any green coins I missed. Oh, that was bad. Got like three coins.
Uh, I don't know where to go. I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll just have a quick check in each of these areas. See if any of them uh, pop out, like as uh, you know, cutscenes starting immediately or anything. We're chasing the bug. Uh, did I check the sewers yet? No. Uh, is there anything in the Mushroom Kingdom? Thank you. 
Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think I'm just gonna uh, quick uh, check what to do here. I, I think it's probably in like the either the forest maze or maybe like the uh I don't know here maybe but uh I don't really want to uh spend forever looking through there says to go to the item shop in Mushroom Kingdom. Uh, apparently we went here earlier to get uh, something for Mallow. I don't remember this though. <laughs> Oh, right, when we were looking for Mallow, it was, uh, the dinosaur guy stole his stuff or whatever. Okay. Well, now that that's solved, uh, we can keep going. I assume it's for Mallow. Okay, he said Star Hill. So it just lets me go through here now. That's a flower. Okay, this goes to Mary more. Oh, okay. That just lets me leave. Okay.
so I thought that was an NPC. what he mentioned these are just wishes of uh, characters I was worried I was gonna have to go find cricket jam or something that would just kill all of them, but it's uh, not that powerful actually. I just gotta hit all the flowers and that should open the doors. Door, I guess there's just one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that must be that, uh... Alright, I just gotta go around and hit all of them, I guess. Would that be, uh, Captain Toad? anything like his palette swap earlier. Uh, migraine. Okay, it just kills them. Yeah, it's I guess I could uh, continue on with the uh, games I played this year. Uh, there's quite a few Switch games, and also uh, there's a lot of games that I started, like, uh, you know, a year or two or three ago, and then uh, this year decided I was gonna 
you know, finish them up. So, uh, you know, I just went through and, you know, either beat or, you know, mostly beat, uh, you know, kind of decided, okay, I'm finished with this game. Uh, but I just wanted to clear them all out because I had a whole bunch of, like, half-beaten games on my Switch. Uh, turtle cooks. Uh, so one of them was uh, Human Fall Flat. Uh, I think I did actually just start and uh, I didn't end up finishing this one. This, uh, I started it this year but I didn't finish it. I kind of gave up on it. Uh, it, I didn't really care for it. It's, I don't know, it's got kind of weird uh, platforming physics and stuff. And, uh, I don't know, I just, I played it for a little bit and was like, okay, it's, you know, not really for me. Alright, is that it? I'm gonna get this, uh, I just get the star. Uh, I guess I didn't get a star from uh, Booster's section or whatever, so this is kind of that. I guess not every villain has to give me a star. Alright, we got uh, three left. We're just over halfway. Probably, I guess, about halfway. There'll be three more stars, and then there'll be like the final uh, villain's dungeon. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. Uh, next game I played was uh, Tiny Metal. Uh, this was kind of like a spiritual, uh, I don't know, successor to Advanced Wars. Uh, what's going on here? Uh, it was okay. Uh, One thing I found it was very it was difficult to see. Uh, I don't know, just it needs like a higher contrast mode or like a big outline mode or something. Like all the units and stuff are kind of like uh, this, you know, generic 3D style. Uh, but they're all like one color, and then all the buildings and stuff will be that color. And uh, I just found nothing stood out very well from anything else, so I, like I had a really hard time just playing it because I couldn't tell like where units were and what each unit was and stuff. Everything just kind of like blurred together. Uh, plus, I seem to remember it didn't. I don't know, it was a while ago that I did uh, I did play it, but it was, uh... I seem to remember it had uh, only, like, two units. Like, there was air and ground, there was no water or something. Uh, no water units. Uh, and there wasn't that many units anyways. Uh, okay, I can't get up there. Uh, I hear, I think there is a second one out, or coming out, uh, I haven't played it yet, but, uh, if they have, uh, you know, if they fix that problem and add more units and stuff, I may check it out, because I did otherwise fairly like it.
Okay, so these are all, like, actually pretty useful. That's kind of more what I was expecting as a, you know, from the frog item shop. Next, uh, a Spelunker Party. Uh, this is one, well, I guess I didn't, I started it, uh, I think I probably mentioned, you know, when I was playing Spelunker or whatever, but uh, I did get this uh, way back when I first got the Switch. Like, I imported it, uh, the Japanese version, because I just love the demo so much. And uh, yeah, I played a bunch more of it again this year. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know, it's one of my favorite Switch games. I've probably got more time in it than most any other game. Maybe, like, Breath of the Wild and Odyssey have more time. this does, but I just have a feeling I should have it. Uh, probably end up carrying it to the end of the game now or something. Uh, next was uh, Mercenary Wings, the False Phoenix. Uh, I've played all of the Mercenary Saga games uh, so far. Uh, actually, I think there's a Mercenary's Blaze out that I have. Uh, I haven't played it yet, though. But uh, uh, I do somewhat like the Mercenary Saga games. Like, I'll probably keep buying them and playing them. Uh, I wish they did. I don't know, make them a little bit more different, because they seem to kind of just remake them, uh, you know, they remake the same one every time, basically. Uh, they just swap around the, you know, the characters and the story, but it's like the same game engine and everything. Uh, they're, you know, they're really pumping them out, but, uh, I think part of what I like about them is that they are, they're, they're just strategy RPGs. They have no other weird uh, mechanics that, you know, uh, over -arc in the entire thing, like, uh, I, you know, I find, like, every other strategy RPG has just some mechanic that just, like, you, you can't get away from it, it just affects every part of the game, and, uh, like, my favorite one is, uh, Tactics Ogre, uh, The Knight of Lotus, because that one also doesn't, there's no real weird mechanics going on, it's just, uh, you know, it's just a strategy RPG. Wait, is this...? Okay. Okay, I'm guessing after I fix whatever, this town ends up having a lot of shops. But for now, everybody's just weird. Yeah, so like, uh, yeah, I like Tactics Ogre, and it's got, like, you know, there's no weird mechanics that just affect everything. Like, uh, you know, I also like Final Fantasy Tactics Advance, but, you know, there's the law system in that. that I find that doesn't interfere as much as some other mechanics do, but it's still, like, there all the time, and you always have to pay attention to it and stuff. Uh, and... Final Fantasy Tactics on the PlayStation, it's got the Brave and Faith system that I hate. I find it just kind of, 
I don't know, whenever you're building your characters, you have to like uh, purposely grind that out so they all, everybody has high brave and then you know magic users have to have high faith and non-magic users have to have low faith and it's just i don't know and it affects the uh damage like so heavily like you know if you got if your magic user has low faith they just like don't do damage basically uh, but if a character's got high faith, they just get destroyed by magic, and it's just, it seems weird to have just a system like that, just, you know, totally, like, uh, I don't know, disproportionately, no, like, affect the rest of the, uh, uh, like, damage formula. And then there's, like, Disgaea, which is all about, like, crazy numbers and stuff, where you're doing, like, you know, tens of thousands of damage and getting up to like level 10,000 and stuff. And uh, Fire, Lim Fire Emblem's got the uh, permadeath and the whole like uh, waifu system, whatever, that you just uh, they seem to lean kind of heavily into. Uh, like when you're playing, it's basically all about just avoiding your characters dying because, uh, you know, it's such a heavy penalty, so you end up. Uh, just crawling forward like one tile at a time. All right, I am. I'm gonna sell a bunch of stuff because uh, I need money. You know, and like every other uh, strategy RPG I've played has been like that, where there's just some mechanic that just affects everything like uh it was on the ds a uh, valkyrie profile uh one and it had like a uh, i think you yeah you had four characters and you were supposed to always like uh combo attacks together uh you know if, if you had one character hit the enemy maybe they would do like 10 damage but if you get like four characters hit the enemy they would just like combo back and forth and uh you know you'd end up doing like 500 damage or something so it was just so like you know, I did really like the game but it was like okay yes you know the combat is all about that uh, and so the mercenary saga is like they're just they're plain as anything so they, there's no weird mechanics uh, Yeah, I wish you could see what the stats were on these. Uh, might as well. I'll buy that, because uh, it's probably going to be better. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Alright, maybe, maybe that's better too. I guess it's it's worth changing now. Uh, yeah, I do wish they had uh, if the Mercenary Saga uh, games had like uh, wait, that's where I came from. Uh, if they had uh, generic characters that you could hire from the uh, you know the shops or whatever. Uh, and like a, you know, maybe like a bit more like a world map or something. I think they would probably be like my favorite. Oh, and if you could just like change classes a bit more freely. Uh, cause in it right now your, you know, your knight can become like a, a temple knight or whatever, or a like, I don't know, a holy knight or, you know, he can branch into two different and then from each of those they can branch into two other ones. Uh, and that's it. Uh, I, I like Tactics Ogre's uh, just class system. Uh, if it was a bit more like that, I think it would be like my favorite. But as it is, they're you know I do like them. They're not great, but uh, they're consistently just good, anyways. Oh. Oh, these are these are enemies. Okay.
Hmm, I might as well uh, do this. Uh, I normally don't use the flower points, uh, but I'll probably get a heal or something before I find a boss, and I can always just use syrups. Next I played uh, Brutal Tree Adventures Deluxe. Uh, this was not good. Uh, it's like a 3D platform, but it's, I don't know, insanely basic, and uh, I don't know, there's not really much to it. Unfortunately, uh, it is short. It only took me like, I think, an hour or two to beat. Yeah, you don't, uh, I don't know, you don't even really, like, take damage, you just get, like, reset back to your start position if you get hit, and... I don't know, the, the controls are really basic, like, there's no real, like, physics to the movement, you just kinda, like, you know, slide around and jump and stuff, and, uh... uh it feels really, like, you know, half an hour in Unity is, you know, all you need to remake the game. She's a bit low. Let's avoid these guys, they're a pain. Yeah, I can't tell where those are. Uh... Okay. Yeah, it's the, the isometric view, it kind of confuses things. Mario was supposed to be able to jump into the water. Uh, hello. I'm gonna uh, stop here temporarily, and then uh, I don't know, uh, just you know, eat and stuff, and then uh, come back in a little bit. <laughs> 